Greetings and blessings. This is Minari, Princess of the Sea. I'm here today to talk with you about this Occupy movement that is going on. There seems to be a lot of Occupy Wall Street going on right now, Occupy Yourself, um, this revolution, as it were. I've seen many videos now and read many pieces on the footage of this occupiedness. And it's a beautiful thing. However, I'm here to invite you, rather than occupying yourself, or rather than seeking outside of you, because, yes, granted, the powers that be are to be dissolved. That greed and egoic consciousness is to be dissolved. And that's part of the shift that we're in right now. We're in the shift of the mind calendar getting ready to end here at the end of this week, of the portal being open for 11.11. That is coming. 11 11, 2011. All the 11s are in alignment, correct? And parlaying into the shift now of going into 2012 and beyond. And what is happening right now, though, is there is many who are looking outside of themselves, whether peaceful demonstrations or free from being so peaceful, as I've seen some. It's a means of looking outside of yourself, projecting out to try to create your world outside of you and to change the circumstances outside of you. What this occupying movement is really about, and this shift that we're in right now is really about, about looking within. So I would like to invite you to, rather than attempt to change your outside circumstances by seeking outside of yourself, to look within and to occupy love. Be love now. Be love within you now first. One of our great sages of wisdom has said to us, many thousands of years ago, be the change you wish to see in the world. And others like that stage of wisdom have said, mirroring things, this is actually a revolution within rather than outside of you. To change the world outside of you is to actually change within first, and then the outer world will change. Be love now. What does that mean? I get that asked of me often. How do I be love now? This seems like a catchphrase. Being love now is asking the question constantly, what would love do now? What is the loving thing to be, to do, to act, to say? And that comes from loving yourself first. Occupy love, the love within you. Loving yourself first is not selfish. It's actually soulful. And from that, your cup overflows, and then you're able to give to another and love another, as you love yourself. Coming to love yourself first begins in a space of gratitude. Can you be thankful? Can you appreciate? The word appreciate means to give value to, to increase in value. So can you appreciate the beautiful, whole, perfect, and complete being that you are in this moment? Please understand that you are beautiful. You are beautiful, whole, perfect, and complete, simply as you are right now. So in occupying love, 
being love, loving yourself first. This is where the revolution is. It seems quite interesting, I guess, to watch the unfoldment of this Occupy Wall Street, or Occupy wherever, Vancouver, wherever. I find it very interesting because it's a revolution that is seeking to express itself through love. And it's beautiful. And it reminds me a lot of the 60s, <laughs> to be honest. And it's beautiful. Rather than seek outside, I invite you. The universe invites you. Love invites you. Be love now. Love yourself. Appreciate yourself. Even those things that you feel are not so good, quote unquote. For anything that you are free from loving, you will repeat over and over and over again until you come into a place of love with it and within it. Appreciate the gifts of those things called the opposites of the challenges, for they are a true gift. It gives us the chance to, rather than delve into the negativity, as we call it, to instead choose love. I currently have a series of articles that I'm writing that really have to do with twin soul relationships, and actually all relationships. This is free from being just about the twin soul relationship, because the core of the twin soul relationship is love. And not just romantic love, but really loving yourself. And so I invite you um, to come visit my uh, Facebook page at facebook.com slash Nari, N-E-N-A-R-I. And even if you're free from being my friend on Facebook, I have made these articles available um, on public feed so that you're able to read them. And I invite you to read them because it's all about, even though the articles are titled about twin soul relationships, really, it's all about occupying love. So take the moment to occupy love. Be love now. Spot.